Hey everybody, it's Holly with Baby Gizmo. Today we are gonna talk all about your baby registry. I know when you find out you're pregnant for the first time, there are so many emotions, you're so excited, you just dive right into all the planning and you're so excited to get your baby registry done. So today I'm gonna to tell you what exactly you should put on your baby registry to make it so much easier for you. Now the first tip I would give you is Put the big stuff on your registry, the crib, the fancy stroller, the things that you, that your shower attendees might not get you, but you never know when, first of all, grandma might splurge for one of them, but it also gives your shower guests another good indication of what brands you're, you like, what colors you're picking, things like that, so they can coordinate their gifts with what you really like. Don't go overboard on the small stuff. This isn't your grocery list. You can buy your own baby shampoo. You want to give a gift suggestion list to your friends and family. So definitely not every little thing needs to be on your registry. Now speaking of little things on your registry, I would leave off the personal stuff. Now, think about who's gonna see your registry. The guys at your husband's office don't need to know what kind of breast pads you prefer, or your dad doesn't need to know the nipple cream that you chose. So the personal things you can definitely get yourself, so leave those off the registry. Now, if you pick out products that have a refill, do not register for the refills because nine out of 10 times, you are gonna get more refills than you've ever needed. So if you want the diaper pail, just put the diaper pail on the registry and not the refills because more likely than not, you might get a whole bunch of refills and not even the diaper pail. So just the product, not the refills. Now this one's gonna be hard to do, but no diapers. Do not put diapers on your baby registry. Why? Because some babies are born so big that they skip the first size of diapers. They don't do the newborn diapers, they don't do the size one, they might just start right in size two. And all of the people that are coming to your baby shower are gonna to want to buy those baby little newborn diapers. And the worst thing is gonna be for you to have to just give away diapers that your kid never was able to use because they were born just a little bit big. Next, don't overstuff your list. You don't wanna put every single little item on your baby registry because that's what you're gonna end up with, every single little item. And that's gonna be annoying. If you really wanted, let's say, that nursing pillow or that specific car seat, make sure your guests can find those things that you really want as opposed to going through 20 pages of burp cloths and pacifiers and things like that. So make sure you don't overstuff your list. Now let's talk about exactly what needs to be on your registry. First of all, you're gonna need a car seat, whether it's an infant car seat with a base or a convertible car seat that works from birth, you definitely need a car seat. You can't even take your baby home from the hospital in a vehicle without a car seat. So definitely have a car seat on your registry. Next, a stroller. You're gonna to wanna to go out and about with baby. You're gonna need something to wheel baby around in. So pick your stroller. Even if it's that fancy expensive one you really, really want, put it on your list. Like I said, somebody might not buy it for you, but they'll at least know what your taste is. And you could also put a couple strollers. Let's say if you do want a big full-size stroller, maybe put a travel or umbrella stroller as a secondary stroller as well. Now you're gonna need to set baby down at some point. Believe me, they're adorable and cute, but eventually you're gonna need a break. So you're gonna need something like a bouncer seat or a swing, something to set baby down. Depending on your budget or how much, how much space you have in your house, you could definitely put a bunch of them, but you really only need one place. So let's say a bouncer seat, and if you wanna do a second one, a swing, I think those are perfect. Um, things like a play mat, great to have, but not necessarily has to be on your baby registry. Um, so definitely think of how many people are coming to your shower, how many people are buying for your baby, and then kind of coordinate what you really want and what you will really use. So definitely at least one thing to set baby down in. Now, let's talk about setting, not setting baby down. You're gonna be carrying that child all over. So a carrier definitely is a good thing for new parents to have. When you're putting a carrier on your list, before you do it, I would go ahead and do some research. Try out your friends, ask your friends. Ask what kind of carriers they like. There's all types of carriers from slings to wraps to structured carriers, so many different carriers and moms are different. Some people like one thing and the other ones like another. Try your friends' carriers on. If you don't have any friends that have babies yet, 
go to the store, try them on. Um, it's definitely gonna give you a good indication of what you are gonna like, but a baby carrier on your registry is a fantastic idea. Now, think about feeding baby. Even if you're breastfeeding full time, I definitely recommend putting a couple bottles on your registry. You never know when you're going to have to leave your baby, and even if you're pumping, the milk has to go into a bottle so somebody else can feed your baby. At any time, if somebody else has to feed your baby, they're gonna need a bottle. So, at least a few bottles, even if you are exclusively breastfeeding. If you are breastfeeding, you are going to need at least I think you should get a nursing pillow. That is going to elevate baby up to breast level. It's gonna be more comfortable for you, more comfortable for baby. Your arms aren't gonna be shaking every single time you feed baby. Sometimes nursing sessions can take a little while at the beginning to get used to it, so a nursing pillow is going to need to be on your registry. Other things you would need for feeding is bibs and burp cloths. Now I said don't overload your registry with every little thing, but if your registry isn't too full yet, definitely some bur bibs, burp cloths, because even like I said, bottle feeding, breastfeeding, all babies burp, <laughs> they're gonna spit up. Um, so you're gonna wanna protect those cute little clothes you picked out. Now moving our way into the nursery, like I said, definitely put your crib on there just for reference for your guests, but you're also gonna need a baby monitor. I adore video monitors. I think it's a must have for new parents. I really, really do. Whether you live in a small apartment or a huge mansion, a video monitor in the nursery helps you keep an eye on your baby, gives you some calm, you know, peace of mind that your baby is maybe just crying because they're trying to like work it out and go to sleep or they're hurt. Like keeping an eye on your baby is gonna give you that peace of mind. So get a good video monitor, put it on your list. I'm telling you, you will thank me a hundred times over. Now, along with the crib, you're also going to want to put maybe some crib sheets. Um, again, that not only if they don't get it for you, it's going to give them your nursery style, your guests, so they can pick other things out to coordinate with that. So um, you need the mattress for the crib, you need crib sheets, and then a mattress pad is always a great idea because there are diaper accidents all the time in those cribs. And last thing you want to do is ruin your crib mattress. Even though a lot of them are waterproof, I always think a mattress pad is great for easy cleanup. Also in the nursery, I think it's a good idea to have a rocker or a glider. There are gonna be many nights, many days that you're gonna to wanna to rock your baby, they're gonna be upset, you're gonna need a little time to just, maybe you're just bonding with your baby. A rocking chair or a glider is going to be so invaluable for your time with your baby, whether it's in the middle of the night or middle of the afternoon, definitely I would splurge on that as part of your nursery furniture. Also, along the lines of going to bed, you're gonna to wanna to get some wearable blankets. Now, even if you have a summer baby, We've done videos before where we tell you a bare crib is a safe crib. So you're not gonna have any blankets, any bumpers, any comforters, anything like that in the crib. So what you wanna get is a wearable blanket. If you have a summer baby, you're going to want a thinner material. If you have a winter baby, maybe it can be a little thicker, but those are great things for your registry. They're not super expensive, but definitely something you're gonna to want to put on your baby if it is a little chillier, whether it's in the nursery or it's the middle of winter. And then for the remaining things on your registry, you can register for a few onesies, sleepers, things like that, but definitely make sure that the big items that you really want are not you know, overshadowed by a million little pacifiers. You can get your own pacifiers, but definitely the stroller, car seat, um, put your crib for reference, or maybe grandma will get it for you. Um, you definitely want bottles and baby monitor, sheets for the crib, mattress for the crib. Um, you also need somewhere to put the baby down as a swing or a bouncy seat. You also need a carrier. More than nine out of 10 parents use carrier, so you don't have to have it, but I feel like a lot of people baby wear. It's a great bonding time with your baby, so baby carrier. These are the majority of things. Skip the high chair. Your baby's not gonna use a high chair unless it's one of the fancy ones that they can use from birth until they sit up at six months old. So you can get the high chair later down the road. Um, you also don't need a potty yet. You're not potty training it, it, you know, right out of the womb. So definitely those things you can wait till later. So don't put things on your registry that they're not going to use for nine to 12 months. Um, and those are all the big things. Like I said, put the things you really want. Don't put all the little tiny things, you know, that kind of clutters up the registry. If you're having a huge baby shower and you're having a ton of people, well, then you can put more things. But just know that if you're having a small shower and you put too many things, you're going to end up getting all the small things and you're going to end up buying all the big things. <laughs> so 
I hope this was helpful in what to put on your own baby registry. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe to our channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Thank <laughs> you.